Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So remember that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, wow. Aquarius energy right in the middle of it. If you are doing something like around career, finance, I mean I guess it could be family too, but that's gonna pay off like big time. Even if it feels a little challenging right now, how it could feel like it's over, but something around work is really building up there. Alright, so what's going on? There you are. So Virgo. Maybe the future. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the month that has the seven of wands and the nine of cups. Alright, well, looking like it's ending with contentment at the very least. But I see this ending back here again. So there could have, I mean, things could have chilled out or been some quiet time, some healing time. We'll see. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. Or for go. The Knight of Pentacles. You're taking your time. You're taking it day by day. You're building something, though. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, right? You could be like a single mom for some of you, but it doesn't have to be. This is generally, this is just the action. Uh, slow, smooth, and night of the deck, taking your time, taking it slow, which is how things grow into something big, and it looks like you don't really see something that's coming towards you right now. It could just be around a situation that's moving incredibly slow, but I'm going to tell you what, it looks like somebody's been keeping a lot in, like they haven't expressed how nervous they are. For some, this is something that you already put a lot of time and energy into. Could have been like a marriage, a family home. Even if you're single, though, love is blooming. But this hasn't came forward yet. Show me the seven of wands for Virgo. It could also be a situation that you're dealing with and you're kind of taking your time. Um, with the two of swords, you may have a hard time like opening up to it or just seeing it, its potential. But with this knight of cups... And the Justice card, you don't see this energy coming. And, like, this is about making it right. Making things over here where they're kind of, like, how they could even not be moving with the Two of Swords. It may have came to a crossroads. This Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, but this is a loving offer. There could be an age difference, and this may have taken forever, but it looks like somebody's coming to balance the scales. If things have happened in the past, somebody's going to try to defend themselves. For some, there could have been, um, or there could be a legal situation where, like, somebody had to defend themselves. Yeah, somebody could be incarcerated for some, not for all. But that's what they're nervous about doing. So it feels like a lot of clarity is trying to come out. Like somebody's trying to speak their truth. And the feelings are here. The love is here. Just not. Somebody is also focusing on self-love. But also the way the feelings are may not just be completely like visible to the eye. Seeing both of these, she's like blindfolded. Don't get caught up in gender. Alright, show me the Nine of Cups for the outcome for Virgo, please. Wow. You got your Nine and your Ten of Cups. The wish fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment. Too many. Tell me more about the outcome for Virgo, please. The Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Um, you're going to demand justice here. Like, it's going to have to... Don't have any expectations around the situation right off top because we have the five, five of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So sometimes with the Queen of Swords, like, it can just kind of be going back to this energy. Like, a very... 
a logical energy. Like if it doesn't make sense and it's not coming across all the way right, this is something or a situation that uh, it, it does mean a lot to you. But with the Five of Cups there, it feels like um, with the Five of Cups, make sure you're looking at the whole picture because it also feels like for some, depends on the situation. This is, this may be, this kind of thinking, this is anxiety, worry, fear, maybe clouding things. Tell me, um, yeah, see the Page of Pentacles can indicate some type of good news, communication, that growth. The Three of Wands, though, you may just have to wait a couple of days. Because it still feels like there's, at the very least, some resistance here. Or possibly anger. Don't hold on to anger. All right, Virgo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.